Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Tech. I got a cool video for you guys today. I got an M.2 heatsink from EKWB. And I'm gonna be installing it on top of my Corsair MP500. It's running a little bit hot. I'll bring up the temps really quick for you right here. On a link, it's showing that it's running anywhere from 60 to upwards of 69 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty hot, and um, I'm gonna see if this heat sink will do anything to help it. Okay, if you might have noticed there was a Christmas tree in the back of that video. I filmed that video way back four months ago when I first got this uh, EKWB M.2 heatsink. So let me talk about this for a second. The install process was extremely hard for the Corsair MP500. Now, uh, what EKWB doesn't really state is that there are some M.2s that are just not as fitting for the heatsink as others. Some people say that these work perfectly fine, they fit perfect, and then other people like me with the Corsair MP500, and I believe a few others, uh, I forgot the names of uh, some of the others, but a few other people in face different Facebook groups I'm in told me that they had kind of similar issues, where the clips on the M.2 just did not go on. Maybe one of them did, the back one, and then they were trying to get the front one on, and that one just would not fit on it. it like, it would be really hot, tough. And for me, I actually had to use a clamp to get my hook on. A clamp and, like, some, like, pliers to just force it on, and uh, you could really easily break your M.2 that way. I was willing to take the risk because I wanted to do a review video on this, I wanted to check temperatures, and I wanted it to look just good in my system overall. It does does look really good. Uh, but that is a problem with these, and I really think EcoBB should address this issue by having a different solution to clamp the two pieces of the heatsink together. Now, the temperatures are great. They did go, they did dip like 20 something degrees. Um, they average temperatures before I got the heatsink were about anywhere from 60 degrees upwards of 69, even up to 70 degrees at times. And now the temperatures average anywhere from 42 to a high maximum of 55 degrees. I haven't seen it over 55. So the MP500 right now, just on idle, is 46 degrees Celsius. It's jumping between 46 49, but yeah, that's that's very good. It's definitely a lot better than the almost 70 degrees it'd be getting beforehand. So this does do a lot. You get two thermal pads, one for each side of the 
of the heat sink and you get that big beefy heat sink on top which does so much for it it helps so much uh i didn't think it would be this big of a difference putting the heat sink on versus not having a heat sink on it but it is fantastic it cools your m.2 very very well as well as looks amazing in the system there's just the pros and cons i mean it doesn't fit all m.2s that is a big problem because not everyone wants to clamp their m.2 together and like risk breaking it to get a $18 heatsink on like if you get a, a $200 m.2 $18 heatsink that's just not worth the risk so overall it is for you to decide I mean if you want to take the risk if you got an mp500 uh, that's the only one I can vouch for personally because that is the one that did not fit it didn't fit properly I just don't know how it fits on other m.2 so I cannot vouch for any of those you guys can go on Facebook groups and ask I personally use cable monitors all the time. That'll be in the description below if you want to check out cable monitors. It is an awesome Facebook group. So thank you guys again for watching the video. I got a really cool video planned for next week's upload. And we I'm uploading every single Wednesday if you guys don't know that already. So subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on if you want. If you don't want to, I upload every Wednesday so you know that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.